Okay, so this first video is about the menu interface in Basecamp and uh, how I have it set up. The menus I'm talking about is this menu bar along here. It's dead easy to set up to uh, have the items that you use frequently. Just go to a blank area here, right click, and then you can see the menu items uh, that are displayed. So for instance, over here, this is the map product menu. If I go over here, I just click that and map products will disappear. Right click again, map products is back on. When I put something else on, task launcher for instance, I click that and there we go, task launcher appears. If I then right click over here and take rid of, get rid of task launcher, it's gone. <coughs> so these are the menu um, menus that I use pretty much all the time. This is to select the map if you have multiple maps on. This is the latest um, Garmin map. There's a previous version. There's the generic uh, global map with very little detail. And this is a um, OSM map of New Zealand that I managed to download and install. Anyway, we're going to use the um, most up-to-date Garmin map for Europe. So if I just talk you through these uh, menu items here. Detail level. Detail level <coughs> is this menu here. This determines how much detail there is on the map. I've got it set to medium at the moment. If I took it to lowest, it doesn't look a great deal of difference. But when you zoom in using the um, wheel on the mouse, you can see that actually it's the, the detail is not great. And so you try it around somewhere that you know and you'll see quite quickly that uh, the detail is not great. If I switch that now to medium, there's a few more roads and a few rivers, but it's still actually not all there. If you go to highest, what you suddenly see is all the roads in the area are, are, now, are now displayed. Okay, so the next item I'm going to show you yeah, to talk through is this one here, which is the activity profile. I have it set to car. It's much easier to um, create a route. It's much more logical. It's smoother. And it's easier to create a route. The send. This is the send and receive menu item called device transfer. This allows you to download data from the sat nav itself and upload data to the sat nav itself. Okay, so this is the. Um, drawing tools menu. This allows you to create a waypoint, create a new route, or create a new track. And there's subtle differences between all those. So a waypoint will put a flag down somewhere and then you can create a use route using those waypoints. Uh, a new route, you can use a new route and it creates via points that you can then uh, manipulate. Or you can create a track where you try and draw yourself along uh, roads um, to create a route. Uh, once you've done, you, once you have a route created, uh, then we have this menu bar here, which is the uh, m editing the uh, route. So there's our edit features, and then our map tools here. So this 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 is our map tools. This allows you to. Uh, uh, move the map around, search on the map and measure distances. And then we have the edit uh, menu here, which allows you to cut, paste, copy, delete, undo and redo. So fundamentally, that's the uh, menu interface that I use when I'm using Basecamp. 